All right. Y'all have fun. Take it away, Evangeline. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> All right. So if you want to go ahead, we can get started. Okay. All right. So today, let's actually begin on our mats. Um, and we're going to start in reclining bound angle. Coming down to our sit bones. Nice. Laying back. And just let the hips open up here. And begin to bring your focus inward. Begin to bring your focus in toward your body. Maybe doing a scan here. See if there are any areas of clenching or tension. And now bringing your attention to your breathing. Just kind of getting a baseline, checking in, seeing what the quality of your breathing is. And then let's come into our ujjayi breathing here. So some deep inhales through the nose. And then a long, slow exhale out of the nose. Constricting the back of the throat just a little bit, just so that it sounds like an ocean waves and you can feel the vibration of your breath in your throat. And then we'll pull our belly button into our spine so that we protect our lower back and keep the whole spine safe as we practice today. So let's turn this reclining down angle into a happy baby. So we're just going to really press the lower back down into the mat here. Bring the knees up. Send the soles of the feet up to the ceiling and gently grab from the feet here from the outside. And we're just gently pulling down here, trying to get those knees to come down toward the mat. And you're welcome to rock side to side if that feels okay. Just trying to get everything to open up. We're going to do a lot of legs today, so I'll go ahead and get them open now. Releasing from happy baby, let the left leg straighten out and come all the way down to the mat. And then we're going to come into wind removing pose. So we're going to first just bend the knee into the chest and then gently place your hands beneath your right kneecap and just gently squeeze that right knee into your chest. Take your time here. And if you'd like, you can add some movement by rolling your right ankle around in circles. I'll be going one way first and then the other way next. All right, we're going to release that right knee, but keep it bent. And then open the right knee wider than your torso. And then do the same thing here. Gently interlace those fingers beneath your right kneecap and then squeeze in as if you're trying to get your right knee into your right underarm. Release that right knee, bring it all the way down to the mat. That right leg is straight down on the mat, bending the left knee, pulling it in toward your chest, just gently pressing beneath your kneecap, feeling free to add some movement here by just rolling the left foot around. Release the left knee, then open up the leg wider than the torso. Place the hands beneath the kneecap and gently pull that knee in towards your left underarm. Excellent. 
spine extend the left leg back out straight and then bend both knees and bring both of the feet to the mat here we're going to come into a bridge pose we're going to hold it at first and then we're going to do some pulses so just take your time getting your bridge set up here by bringing your feet back toward you until you can touch the backs of your heels and then let the sides of your feet be parallel to the sides of your mat all right shimmy the shoulder blades together beneath you opening up across the chest we're going to pull the belly button in squeeze the glutes together and then on an inhale lift the hips up to the ceiling just as much as you can things are still kind of cool right now so they might not go up very high but i'm just going to get them up there for just about three breaths or so on your next exhale lift the feet up onto their toes and then slowly roll down just coming down one vertebrae at a time letting the hips be the last thing that comes down once the hips hit the mat then let the heels come back down now we're ready for a few little gentle pulses here we're not gonna do it like a cardio class it's just a little bit of movement here so on an inhale pull the belly button into the spine squeeze the glutes together and lift the hips up for one exhale let them down inhale lift up exhale come down inhale lift up exhale come down inhale lift up exhale come down last one inhale lift up exhale come down nice so we're going to turn this into a boat pose you got a couple of options here if you'd like you can just tuck your chin in and press yourself up but if you want the challenge you can really tuck the chin in and just lift straight up into your boat i'll leave that up to you <laughs> yeah excellent release that down plant the hands behind you and windshield wiper the knees here So let's turn this into a tabletop. So you can just roll over your ankles if you'd like, but if it's easier, you can throw the knees out to the side. So with tabletop, we just always want to make sure that knees are directly beneath hips and that wrists are directly beneath the shoulders here. Really pull that belly button into the spine and let's do some cat cows. So on an inhale, we're going to drop the chest to the belly, take the chin to the ceiling. On your exhale, round the back. Follow that wave in the opposite direction. Tuck the chin in here. Inhaling back into the cow. Exhaling. Moving with your own breath at your own pace. Just try to get the spine to wake up. like you can sway the hips side to side whatever helps to open things up here Maybe do some figure eights all right so let's bring it back into a neutral spine and then on an inhale we're going to curl the toes under press them into the mat and lift the hips up to the ceiling coming into the downward facing dog here so while we're in our downward facing dog let's take a peek at our feet and make sure that they're about hips width apart that's about two fist width apart and we're going to spread those shoulders away from each other kind of popping up the space in between the shoulder blades taking the gaze to the belly button making sure that we've got our fingers spread wide here putting most of the weight in toward the index finger and thumb and then feel free to work your way into this and to get those hamstrings to wake up by pedaling it out, bending one knee and then the other, bringing in a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of extra blood. You 
will help us to elongate along the backs of our legs. And if we need to, we can always bend the knees so that we can sink our heart back toward our thighs. Finding our way back to stillness, we're gonna inhale, look in between our hands, and on an exhale, we're gonna squeeze the right knee up into the belly, and then plant the right foot in between the hands. And we're just gonna jump right into this. <laughs> we're gonna come straight up into a crescent lunge. So on your next inhale, really press that right big foot into the mat, come up with the flat back arms up and over. Nice. So we're working on getting the hips squared to the top of our mat. And that's gonna require us thinking about pulling the right side of our hip back. And then you're gonna feel some tugging and pulling probably along the front of that left thigh, along the front of the hip flexors here. And we'll slowly warm up and ease into it. Let's turn this crescent lunge into a warrior one. The way we're gonna do that is put a little bit of weight into that right foot, lifting your left foot, and bringing the heel of your left foot down so that the toes of the left foot are pointing toward the upper left hand part of your mat. Just like we did in crescent lunge, we're thinking about pulling that left side of the hip forward, right hip back. Now you should be feeling that stretch along the back of your left calf. Yeah. <laughs> On an inhale, we're going to open it up into a warrior two. So now the left foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. We don't lose the bend in the right knee here. Then we keep the heart open for the left side. Turning this into a peaceful warrior, we're going to bring that left hand down thigh. Right palm is going to come up and over. And feel free to drape your left arm behind you. On an inhale, bring it back up into warrior two. Let's take this into extended side angle. So the hips are going to go to the back of the room. We're hinging forward, planting the right arm on the right thigh. The left arm comes up and over. All right, inhale it back up. On an exhale, windmill the arms, plant the hands, and just step it back to your downward facing dog. Take three slow breaths here. All right, let's do that all on the other side. So inhale, look in between the hands. On an exhale, squeeze the left knee into the belly. Plant that left foot in between the hands. Toes of both feet are going to point toward the top of the mat. Heel of the right foot is up off the mat. And on an inhale, really press the left big toe into the mat as you come up into your crescent lunge. This time we're thinking about pulling that right side of the hip forward. We're going to feel that really stretching right here across the hip flexor, so just take your time. Ease into it. You might be a little bit off at first, but that's okay. We'll slowly work our way into it. All right, turning this into a warrior one. Put a little bit of weight in that left foot and then rotate the heel of the right foot down coming into your warrior one. Now you're feeling a stretch along the right calf muscle. On an inhale, let's open it up to warrior two. Great. Let's turn this into a peaceful warrior. Right hand's gonna come down the thigh. The left palm is gonna come up and over. Feel free to drape that right arm behind you. All right, bring it back up on an inhale into your warrior two. Extended side angle. Hips go to the back of the room. Hinge forward. Left arm, left thigh. Right palm up and over.
Inhale it back up to your warrior two. On an exhale, windmill the arms, plant the hands, step it back to your downward facing dog. Three slow breaths here. On your next inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale everything out. You squeeze that right knee into the belly. Plant the right foot. On an inhale, come up into your warrior one on the right hand side. Inhale, open to warrior two. Take it back to your peaceful warrior. Inhale it back up to warrior two. This time we're gonna take this into a triangle. The way we're doing that is straightening the right leg. Hips go to the back of the room. Hinge forward from the waist. And on an exhale, we're dipping down. Trying to leave as much of a bend in that right knee as we need to be able to get into this pose. Nice, nice form. All right, to get ourselves out of this, let's soften the right knee by bending it. Inhale, press the big toe into the mat, coming back up into your triangle. On an exhale, with middle the arms. And you can take a vinyasa here if you'd like, or you can just take it back to downward facing dog, whatever feels good to you. Excellent, good form. Take some slow breaths here. On your next inhale, look in between those hands. Exhale everything out as you squeeze the left knee into the belly. Plant the left foot. On an inhale, come up into your warrior one on the left hand side. Inhale, this open to warrior two. Nice. Take it back, turn it into a peaceful warrior. Inhale, up to your warrior two. Let's turn this into a triangle. Straighten the left leg, hips go to the back of the room. Hinging forward from the waist, tea potting down. Nice. Everything's so in line. That looks really good. This is a really cool angle. <laughs> really keep lifting the arch of the right foot by pressing the right pinky toe into the mat. Keep tucking the tailbone in. Keep those abs pulled in. It's really easy to just kind of hang out here. All right, getting ourselves out of it. Bend that left knee. Inhale, press the left big toe into the mat, coming back up into your warrior two. On an exhale, windmill the arms, plant the hands. Feel free to vinyasa or just take it to down dog. Nice, take some deep breaths here. On your next inhale, we're going to look in between the hands. And you've got an option here. You can either walk the feet up in between the hands, but if it's easier, you can always walk the hand back toward the feet. So what we're doing is just coming into a forward fold here. So the big toes are together and the heels are slightly apart. And then on an inhale, we're really pulling that belly button in, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Let the head be the last person here. Nice. So once you've rolled all the way up, let's just come to the top of your mat here. And we're going to stab it back with our right foot so that we come into a wide leg stance. We're going to work our way into five-pointed star. So if you'd like, take some time here to extend the arms out 
and see if the ankles are pretty much lined up beneath the wrist here. It's kind of a guesstimation. <laughs> yeah, all right. From here, let's send the arms straight up into the air, fingers spread wide, five-pointed star. And then bend the arms so that you look like a cactus. And then tuck the tailbone in, you know what's coming next. Exhale down into your goddess squat. Beautiful. Really gripping the floor here with your toes, squeezing the glutes. Excellent, bring it back up into your five-pointed star. Hands are gonna come to the hips. Nice. Rotate the toes all toward the top of the mat and just meet me at the top of your mat. Nice. Whew. <laughs> it is hot in my house. This is not as nice as the studio. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna get a little bit more um, into our thighs. So our thighs are about the same as you need to us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate our feet about hips width apart. Excellent. And then on an inhale, we're gonna send those arms up and over. On your exhale, bend at the knees, really tuck that tailbone in coming into your chair pose. Let's turn it into eagle. Put some weight into that left leg, cross the right leg over, feel free to hang out here or you can wrap. Arms come out in front, right arm beneath the left, We'll wrap those arms as much as you can. Maybe just the backs of the arms touch. Maybe we hug ourselves. Nice, I'm proud of you with that shoulder. That's awesome. All right, unwind all of this. Shake it out if you need it. Whew. Nice, all right. Let's do that one more time. On an inhale, we're gonna send the arms up and over. On an exhale, we're gonna squat it down. When you're ready, left leg crosses over right. Wrap as much as you can wrap. Arms come in front. Left arm beneath right. Wrap as much as you can wrap. All right, unwind this, unwind that, shake it out. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, but I, I not very well though. So I just now heard you. That's the only thing I've heard. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, surprisingly, yeah, I didn't think that this thing had that capability, but um, when Jennifer was setting this all up for us, she was like, yeah, everybody can hear everybody. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so she's actually opening up the rooms early so that people can chat with each other, kind of like they would be before class. So. Okay, how are we doing on time here? All right, so I'm going to try one last little challenge before we bring it down to the mat. Okay. So let's try coming back into our chair pose again. So on an inhale, we're gonna bring those arms up and over. Exhale it down. Put the weight into your right foot and then step it back with your left, coming into a crescent lunge on the right hand side. Yeah, nice. Left foot comes back forward, coming into chair. And then just mountain pose. Ha, nice. Whew. Let's do one more on the other side. So inhale, arm come up and over. Exhale, squat it down. Stand the right foot back. Crescent lunge. All right, right foot comes back. All right, and then just come out. All right, so let's come on down to our bottoms on our mats. And we're gonna bring this into a seated staff pose. I don't know if you can still see me here. Yeah, I can see you, but I don't think you can see me. Let me adjust it. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that's better. Gorgeous. All right, so with seated staff, we're gonna get the sit bone grounded into the mat. Extending the legs out straight, have the toes pointing up to the ceiling. Have a little bit of a wiggle jiggle in the knees so we don't want to lock them out. And then on an inhale, send the arms up and over, shoulders relaxed really from the ears. On an exhale, round the back, coming forward. Let the arms rest on the mat. Try to keep the chin tucked in toward the chest here so that the neck is in line with the rest of the spine. 
if you're having one of those days where you really want some energy, maybe you're feeling a little sluggish, leave the palms up. But if you're having the kind of day where you want to just feel grounded and centered here, let the palms face down on the mat. And we're just gonna hold here. On your next inhale, keep the chin tucked into the chest. Slowly roll this up one vertebrae at a time. When you are totally up, plant the hands behind you and just windshield wipe through the knees here. Coming back to stillness. We're gonna come into dragonfly. So for this one, we open the legs widely into a wide V shape here, just like before. The toes are gonna to be up to the ceiling. The knees are gonna still have a little wiggle jiggle in them. And then on an inhale, we reach up and over. And on an exhale, we round the back slowly coming into this, tucking the chin toward the chest. Palms can be down so that we feel grounded or they can stay up so that we can feel a little bit more energetic.
On your next inhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. When you reach the top, send the legs out for a moment, give them a little jiggle, and then transition into windshield wipering those knees side to side. All right, and back to stillness. I'm gonna turn around um, so that you can hopefully see what I'm doing here. But what we're doing is coming in to recline the shoelace. The way that we do that is we stay on our sit bones, but then we're going to roll back one vertebrae at a time. You can use hands for support or you can use the abs here. And we're just slowly rolling down, letting the head be the last thing that hits the mat. And then when the head hits the mat, we're gonna pull the belly button in and lift the feet up off of the mat. We're gonna cross the right knee over the left, just like we would do if we we're just crossing our legs while we're sitting in a chair. And then we'll gently place our hands beneath our kneecaps and gently pull our kneecaps in toward our knees and toward our chest. You should be feeling this on the outside of your thighs, especially your right thigh. That's going to be an IT band stretch here. All right, let's release our legs here, uncross them. Any release that feels good to you here. Maybe you want a windshield wiper, but maybe it feels also good just to extend those legs out straight and just take a full body stretch. And then follow that up with a release by rolling the knees around in circles. Really keep that belly button pulled down toward the mat so that our lower back doesn't arch up off of the mat. We're just rolling the knees in circles, going one way first and then evening it out, going the other way next. All right, we'll come back to stillness. This time we're lifting up the knees again, and then the left knee crosses over the right. 
is easing into this, finding the pose first, and then placing the hands beneath the kneecaps, gently pulling the knees in toward your chest, feeling a stretch, especially on the outside of that left hip. My granddaughter just came in the room and she was naked. She's about to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys of doing yoga at home, huh? <laughs> no telling what you're going to see. <laughs> oh, goodness. And release the legs, unwind them, let the feet come back down to the mat, just like last time. You can choose windshield back of the legs or just extend them out straight, whichever version feels good to you. Right. And then when we're done with that, we will roll the knees around in circles, keeping the lower back really pressed into the mat. Just go one way first and then even it out, go the other way next. Just trying to get into the rotator cuffs here. Excellent. All right, let the feet come back down to the mat. Let them be about hips width apart. And now we're going to get in our twist. So we're going to come into reclining twist, beginning by letting the right knees fall away from us. The left side of the hip is going to come up off of the mat, and that's okay. But we're going to focus on trying to keep that left shoulder down on the mat here. We don't want to cheat ourselves out of this good spinal twist. Once you're here, then you can decide if you'd like to really take it deeper and take the gaze over the left shoulder. If you want to add a little bit more here for a deeper stretch, you can cross the right leg over the left, resting that right ankle on the outside of the left thigh. Good. 
Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody's at the door. Well, I'm doing the yoga class. Someone was at the door, Mimi. Okay. Why did you not do it? Okay, I'm right in the middle of the yoga class. You're okay. Right. Inhale, bring those knees back up to center. And feel free here to release by squeezing the knees into the chest if you'd like. Maybe rocking side to side. Side to side. side. Oh, why do I all Stillness, let the feet come down to the mat. And then this time the knees fall away from us toward our left, keeping the right shoulder in the mat, taking the gaze over the right shoulder if we'd like. Once you've found the pose, if you'd like to take this deeper left ankle rest on the outside of the right thigh.
on an inhale, bring those knees back to center, the gaze back to center. Squeeze the knees into the chest here. Feel free to rock side to side. All right, extend the legs out straight here just for a moment and just take a full body stretch. We're going to transition into banana asana and the way that I like to come into that is to bend my knees and plant my feet into the mat and then I lift my hips up off of the mat and move them to my left about three to four inches and then lower my hips back down to the mat. Then I extend my legs out and make sure that both sides of my hips are still pressed down into the mat. I'm going to bring my arms up and over my head and let my arms rest on the mat above my head. And if it's available, you can cross your left ankle over your right. So we start here and then we decide if it feels good here, if we're feeling enough of a stretch on that left hand side of the body, we can just stay here. But if we want it to go a little deeper, we can tuck the chin into the chest, carefully lift the chin off and the shoulders off of the mat and then move yourself over to the right just a little bit more so that you get a deeper stretch on the outside of that left hand side. I'm crossing the left ankle, bending the knees, planting the feet into the mat, and then just straighten out the spine here and take a full body stretch. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Bend the knees, plant the feet into the mat, lift the hips up to the ceiling, move them to your right, and then let them come down back to the mat. Then we extend the legs out, arms come above the head. If it's available, right ankle crosses over left. Then we decide what we need. Maybe it feels good here. Maybe we want to tuck the chin into the chest, lifting the head and the shoulders, shimmying them over to our left.
On, cross the ankles, bend the knees, plant the feet into the mat, straightening out the spine here, ah, releasing with a full body stretch. Before we transition into our Shavasana, if there's anything else that you need, maybe squeezing the knees into the chest, maybe a happy baby, whatever it is that you need, go ahead and take that now. And just whenever you're ready, slowly transitioning into your version of Shavasana. All right, so if you haven't already, you can go ahead and let go of the ujjayi breathing. Just enjoy your own natural breathing rhythm. Begin to allow everything to just soften. Feel everything sinking back into the mat. Let the jaw release and slide back. Even allow the muscles between the eyebrows and across the top of your head release.
Begin to bring back your awareness. Begin to awaken the body with small mindful movements, starting with fingers and toes. Gradually beginning to roll the hands and feet in circles. Feeling free to take a full body stretch, maybe even bending the knees, squeezing them into the chest. Whenever you're ready, rolling onto one side, deepening your breath here, taking some deep sides. On an inhale, press yourself up to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining and practicing with me today. As always, it is such a pleasure to be here. And thank you for letting me be part of your self-care. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.